So this is a front valve control block for suspension on a Land Rover Discovery 3 and a Range Rover Sport. All I'm using today is a T20 bit for the screws and a device for removing seals. So we've got four screws here, quite straightforward to undo. See, this one's come out in this way sometimes and quite often you'll find that these are stuck in the other side let's just take these off okay so normally you'll find that these are stuck in there. Okay, so we have various seals. One's already come off of that. Just pop that back on. The two end ones are exactly the same. The centre one is slightly different. So on the centre one, this centre piece comes out, and you can see a piece of plastic will come apart, and it comes in several parts there. So we have one seal there, quite a lot of people will miss these seals. If I take that off completely, you can see that there. We also have another tiny, tiny seal. So in the kit that you get off eBay, or wherever you get the kit, as long as it's the right kit, you'll find that these will be there and you'll be wondering and trying to find out where they're actually for. This piece at the end doesn't get changed, at least not in the kits that I have. And then within this part, you see there's another, another seal there. So remove that. And beyond, it's going to sometimes be a bit of a pain to try to get out. Sorry, you didn't see that, did you? Uh, so I just used the corner of this to carefully just prise up the edges okay to get that out so then we have two more seals there we have a tiny one there and we have a bigger one just there all those seals come in the kit uh, that you get as I say off eBay um, I'll uh, try to put a link if I can find it but the problem with eBay links is that they change so often you can see that there is some residue uh, inside here get the light right uh, that's come from a compressor that is uh, breaking down internally so new seals these are not new seals that I'm putting on but it's exactly the same process that one goes on there you can use a very very tiny piece a bit of uh, lithium grease just really really the tiniest spec if you really want to uh, you don't have to that's simply a new seal that will go there keeps this in place that simply pops on be careful when you do it make sure you don't catch the seal anywhere and that will press into place okay so then you have the new small seal goes on there new medium sized seal goes back on there I just forgot the spring goes in there And then the end of that goes on there. So that will spring in and out quite happily, which is what it's intended to do. This tiny spring has to fit right in the centre. 
trying to get see if we can get good light on it. That's it. So just lines up in the centre. Hopefully you can just about see that. So that then pops on there and it springs in and out as it needs to. And that goes on there. That's probably going to keep springing off until we've got it back on. Okay, so the end is exactly the same process. You've got one washer there, a large washer there, that's for the middle bit. These come apart, just twist it, rotate it like that, and that whole thing springs out. Remove that, and you have one small washer there. You don't have any washers inside there. You just have a seal at the end, usually they're okay. And then on this piece, you have another seal with the washer there. Okay, so replacing it, put a new seal back on there, that one on there, or you can place it into the into the hole itself if you really want to. Um, I just tend to put it on there just because it's easier for me. That seal goes back on there, that goes on there, and once you've got that, you can twist and it will keep it together. So that then pops back in there, press it down with your fingers, new seal on there, new seal on there. I'm not going to change this one because it's exactly the same as that one. Okay, and then we're ready to make sure the holes get lined up. If you've got it the wrong way around, like that, purely means that the pipe work if you had it on the wrong way, would foul where your electrical connector is going to be, and that's not good. It won't work. So just make sure it's the right way around. Just slide those gently back in there. Push those together. Making sure you don't catch that seal. So that's one of the seals that's come out of position. And there we go. That's now back in position and that will close up perfectly. Okay, so it's worth doing a visual inspection just to make sure that it's closing up okay and the seals aren't out of place. Simply do the screws back up. These don't require a huge amount of, of pressure, so hand tight will be fine. And just make sure there's no other damage. Obviously you're best off making sure there's no damage before you start as opposed to after. And there you go, that's, uh, that's rebuilt. We'll see whether that works. Thanks.